What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me show you guys an 81 low mural. Alright guys, these did officially come out today for a price of 110, but I wasn't able to get them for 90 bucks today from Foot Locker. I used a $20 gift card. I spent so much money and I have like 10 different accounts. They all have like almost a million points on them. And I'm 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 honestly gonna start using my points because I forget that I had them. And then one of my accounts got clipped recently for no reason that I don't know about, and I had a lot of points on that account. Um so I'm gonna start using my points on these accounts because it looks like they're just taking away accounts now that's been you know around for so long. Normal AE box right here, black, white with the stripes on the side and white. All right, they go to size 10 on these. We don't get suggested retail on this box right here, but let's open it up, guys. So as you guys can see here, this is the shoe. What do you guys think about it? Is it a cop or drop for you guys? Let me know in the comment box below. I think this pair is better than the other one that I showed you guys last week, but you know, to each his own. It's in a hot pink, like an infrared pink, but this is a really dope colorway in my opinion. Now, like I told you guys last week, they probably won't be dropping any more highs. They would have dropped it with this shoe, I believe, but I think they're done with the highs. You do get this tag on the shoe, but I already took it off. You get some normal tissue paper on the inside with the AE logo, the Adidas logo, and white and gray. But let's talk about the shoe, guys. Now, before I actually get into this shoe, I want to tell you guys they're having a big sale on Adidas right now. The 950 boots are going for 70% off. You can get them for 180 bucks, guys. That's more than half credible, unbelievable prices right now. 450s are going for $63. It's just crazy right now on the Adidas app. So if you guys haven't looked already, make sure you guys go check it out because you can get some shoes right now, brand new for a steal, guys, for a guaranteed steal right now. So a lot has happened today on August 5th so far. And there's a lot of heat coming out that I will be showing you guys in different videos. So I'm probably gonna be dropping like two more videos today later on. Let's get into it, guys. So this is the shoe on the bottom of the shoe here. It does come in like this hot pink. We get like a peach color down there as well with the arrow shooting up with the Adidas logo at the bottom. Looking at the midsole here, same thing, get like this hot pink and then like a translucent pink on both the outside and the inside of the shoe. Coming up towards the base of the shoe here, this shoe is made out of TPU. You see like a rubber and different materials mixed up in one. And I just love this colorway on the shoe. It's a really dope colorway in my opinion. We get some breathability in between. We do get a little bit of glue stains on this shoe. I mean, you can wipe that down with a wet rag, but we do get a lot of that on this shoe. That is pretty normal though, in my opinion. Same thing on the inside of the shoe here. Let me know if you guys are gonna pick these up. I don't think this colorway will last a long time at Foot Lockers or wherever they held this shoe because this colorway is really, really dope and really, really nice. I think this shoe is gonna be in a lot of people's top 10 because of how they look, how they feel, and how they perform on feet. Looking at the toe box on this shoe, we do get some 3M hits on here. I'm gonna show you guys that real fast. You know, they didn't take that away from the low. You won't have to worry about wearing any wearable shoe trees on these because of the material used on this shoe. Looking at the mud guard here, we do get like this translucent pink creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. We only do get one set of laces on these. They haven't put an extra set of laces in none of these shoes so far. Um, I'm not understanding why. That was something that I was really happy about when we first started getting the AE1s, how they always brought like an extra set of laces. But you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we do get an extra set of laces in these, but you know, only time will tell. You get the AE logo in orange at the top of the tongue right here. We do get like this neoprene tongue going throughout the whole shoe. All right, and the lacing system on the shoe, once again, is better than the original. And I just love the way these fit on feet. On the inside of the tongue here, I think over the size 10 on these, and it tells us the production dates and everything on the inside of the tongue as well. On the actual insole of the shoe here, it says Anthony Edwards, model one, established Georgia 2001. Don't follow the wave, but on the other one, it's like a mismatch. We get the AE logo at the bottom and then it says the same thing I said on the other one at the top. On the back here, it is just in gray. Underneath the actual insole, it is white with some white stitching. Coming towards the back of the shoes here, you get some black pull tabs. You see the Adidas three stripes in the back of that, we get like this carbon fiber in black. And all the way at the bottom here, we see that this shoe uses the light boost. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoe, guys, all right? I'm gonna show you guys my foot in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this way like on feet, pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, but we get nine and a half on my shoes. I think go up a full size on these. You can go true to size on these. I would say go at least a half a size up though, in my opinion. Now, if you want these for casual wear, you know, depending on how your preference is, it's all about preferences, honestly. But um, I feel like size 10 for me personally fits me really, really well. Like I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box and so my big toe is about right here, all right? And I do have a little bit of space in the front of that toe box, but width-wise, I, 
I do feel my pinky toe on this one just a little bit on the outside and on the inside just a little bit and I do feel like the material on my big toe just a little bit in this pair um now you guys know these do fit a lot better than the original AE ones but I don't have any slippage on this at all whatsoever just in case you guys are wondering as you guys can see and the traction on these are really good um, I'm gonna stand up and let you guys hear it for yourself so you guys can hear how sticky it is so these are really good, especially if you're going to be balling in these. One of the better colorways to drop this year, in my opinion. Um, like I told you guys in the last video, they're probably going to just be dropping lows now. They didn't drop a high version of this one yet anyway. But other than that, man, they feel really nice, in my opinion. Uh, like, like I said before, um, I would go at least a half size up on these. You can go true to size, but in my opinion, you go at least a half size up for basketball shoes. I did go full size up and it feels well on me, just in case you want a, you know, a little bit of more space or have a wider foot. But I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show you boys some love and stay tuned.